Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a exciting video. I thought this would be kind of a fun one considering the current times we're in. There are so many deals to be had and I know that for some people it's very uncertain times and I am not trying to minimize that with this video. But if you do have some spare change, there are some good deals to be taken advantage of in this time and that is what today's video is about. I'm going to be creating a look with some items I picked up from sale. So not everything is from Sephora and there's really not that much in here but probably like somebody's makeup bias for the year. So let me show you real quick what I picked up. I did pick up the Prelude Expose palette from Ulta. You guys have seen my Prelude Chroma palette video and I think a lot of you actually ended up picking up that palette because of that video which is super exciting and of course when this one went on sale for $19 I was definitely oops I was definitely tempted to pick it up and try it so I just love the whole aesthetic of this particular palette situation so very excited to have that and then I also picked up this little guy from Urban Decay which I told you guys I'm like obsessed with green palettes these days and I think I have enough new palettes where I could film another like green palette collection video so let me know if you guys want to see that but I did pick up this cute guy this was 12 bucks on Sephora one day I don't know randomly this weekend I saw it and I was like let me try out those greens though so I did pick that one up so the last thing I picked up on sale <laughs> I drank the Kool-Aid. You know what? Teresa's dead and Angie said that these palettes were pretty nice and I don't know if we saw anyone review the flare so this is the one for darker skin tones. It looks a lot darker in person so I was like uh oh but I'm really excited for that so I bought all of her different formulas. This is her luminous powder. Again I'm a little worried about this being too dark because I think you're supposed to be able to put this all over your face. I'm not quite sure. And um, some people were saying that like Lancome I think has a formula like this. So I'm very curious to see. Oh, okay. It's not like shimmery. I just swatched a little bit of it. So we'll have to try that and see. And then I got her other highlighter. It's probably in this mess somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and try some of those new things out that I picked up on sale. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm trying to figure out which palette to use. I feel like since I've already used Chroma on my channel quite recently. I'm going to save that one and I think I'm going to use these on the run palettes. I haven't had good luck with an Urban Decay palette in quite some time so I've always got high hopes when I try a new Urban Decay palette. I'm like oh, maybe this is the one and what I like about these on the run palettes is they did different like it's like a monochromatic kind of theme. They did um, a purple one, a blue, I think there's like a red um, and then like a neutrally orange one and the green one. I don't know what uh, got over me honestly but when I saw it I was like oh let me try it. It's just like maybe the presentation I don't know but there are some really good things on sale on sephora.com right now so if you guys want to see a video on like for sale items that I would recommend let me know down in the comments because I can definitely film that for you guys. The other thing a few people have been asking me about because they know I picked up these Alter Ego brushes, like the Alter Ego brush set. I have really been enjoying these. I should probably make some kind of like affordable brush video, but they've held up pretty well. I haven't like washed them, washed them yet. I just used the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner between like full blown washes. But yeah, these are nice. I have a whole set. These are two blending brushes. Um, let's go ahead and use one of them right now in this look and oh I'm so tempted to use the green shades and the neutrals who what should we do okay let's start off with the shade G train which is just a matte green and I'm gonna start on the outer corner and blend in I like it it's like gently pigmented which I think is nice because I think since there's a majority of neutral shades in this palette uh, maybe like somebody that's scared of color might actually still pick it up 
an attempt to do some like fun looks with it. It's blending nicely. So I'm not exactly sure when this video is going to go up, but it's April 3rd and um, usually, you know, April 3rd, it means like spring's around the corner and the birds are chirping and the snow's melted. And of course, like with all this coronavirus stuff going on, like we thought, okay, at least like spring was coming. So we had like something to look forward to. And then we got this like huge snowstorm and yeah, basically, um, everything's covered in snow again we're basically back to like full-blown winter it feels like and we had to basically like dig out this <laughs> package from the snow because um whoever delivered it had left it on our doorstep and then me and rel ran errands so we didn't get home till later and then the snow had just completely covered my sephora order my alta order and my jacqueline order so it was just one of those moments where we're like oh yeah the joys of living in North Dakota and I actually filmed a little clip of me going outside to the mailbox to get the mail because I thought maybe the, they had put it in our mailbox but no it was on our doorstep so we had to like dig it out and Real was like using his hand as a shovel basically so that was an interesting little situation so anyway I like the blend I kind of left it a little bit sheer it's not like super built up and then I'm just gonna be a basic Cuban and use the green um, night trip and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of jolt as well in the lid so let me just find a little flat brush my brushes Oh, and oh, here's a flat brush. This is the AOA Studio brush. So I'm gonna start with Jolt, Honey, which is like a gold green shade. I'm gonna put that in the inner part. Yeah, it's not over there. Okay, I like the gold shade. I just wanna build it up just a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into Night Trip, which is the shimmer green shade. Pigmentation is actually pretty decent. I wasn't sure what to expect, so I'm pretty happy with how that's working out. And just so you guys know, I haven't sprayed my brush, so that's cool. Oh, I like it. Fun. It's such a contrasting color combo that it like really stands out on the lid, which I love. And I'm just going over some of the gold with the green just to like blend it. So I really like that. Okay guys, so I really like this eye look. It's very simple. I was hoping to do something like more like blue, but this is what we ended up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on and I will be back to try out the highlighters from Jaclyn Hill. Okay guys, so foundation is on. I do want to kind of show you guys what I've been basically using every single day. It's my Samantha March bronzer. This is in the shade River. I'm obsessed with this, you guys. I love that it's like super duper neutral. So I just want to remember to Shout out products I use all the time because I'm so good at like forgetting to mention what I use all the time. So I really, really wanted to make more of an effort to do that. And then I recently was gifted, actually the Ofra products are gifts too. I was gifted this guy by Menagerie, but actually do you think I could use the Jaclyn one for setting? Under the eyes, it's supposed to be glowy, but... Oh, there is a little bit of shimmer, but... I'm gonna try it. So what, right? <laughs> Let me get a little bit more product out. Um, I haven't really watched many reviews on this product, so I don't know. I just assumed I could use it to set all over my face. Including my eyes. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so I was gifted the Menagerie product too, and that's what I've been wanting to use on my under eyes more, but I decided to try out the Jacqueline, and then I've been loving her blush duo in the shade Chiclet. 
This is very pigmented, so you don't need to use a whole lot. <laughs> Ooh, pink cheeks, pink cheeks. I love this stuff. So pretty. Okay, so the next thing is my highlighters. I got so many options. Okay, so I did also get her little guy. This is the, what is this called? Jacqueline Loose Highlighter. This one is supposed to be like hella pigmented. So that's what it looks like. I like all the packaging and stuff. It feels very nice. This one definitely feels like her old Becca palette. It's very nicely made and beautiful. So actually, I think I'm going to go in with this one. I'm a little scared to use the little one. So let's just do this one today. And I think I'm going to go in with Major Look. I kind of want a, like a lit from within vibe today. So these are pretty. Ooh, this color. I like to put some on my brow. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice work, Jacqueline. Never thought I'd live to see that. Say that. Uh, but I like it. Ooh, and it smells good too. It's got like a cocoa scent. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh. Ooh. I just want to have a good time. Okay. Wow. I love that. It's so glowy. Okay. I'm going to spray my face, finish my lower lash line, and put on a lipstick. And I'll be right back. Hi guys. Okay, so everything's almost done. The only thing left to do is to pick out a lip color. And Menagerie was so kind and sent me a bunch of beautiful liquid lipsticks as well with the Pastel Pop palette. And I tried the shade Terracotta, which I really liked. And I have a few more. I kind of want to try one of their mauve shades. And this is the shade a P. Oh boy. A a I P T Asia. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. But it's a beautiful cool tone mauve shade, which is usually like my favorite. Cool toned deliciousness. If you guys like purples like this, I have one more thing to finish off this look and then it'll be done. Okay, guys, so I did find these on the Amazon. And I'm so pumped because listen, your girl is balling on a budget here. Okay, guys, final look. What do we think? I really, really like how everything turned out. I'm so happy with the Jaclyn palette. I've only tried it out this one time, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm really into that like glow from within, not like over the top highlighter. It just looks like it's a part of my face. I like the color, so that's great. The $12 Urban Decay palette, not disappointed. I know a lot of Urban Decay fans will really like these little guys. And like I said, I used to be a huge Urban Decay fan. Haven't really found a lot of palettes from them that I really enjoy, but for 12 bucks and they have so many other fun colors too. I don't think I would pay $25 for this to be very honest, especially because I think the Just My Luck palette from ColourPop has more greens in it. So if you like lots of greens, I would go with the ColourPop palette, which is regularly priced at $12, whereas this one was on sale for $12 and it has mostly neutral shades with the two greens at the end. So if you like Urban Decay and you like a little bit of green, but mostly neutral, and you have, I think is it brown eyes that can pull off greens? I can't remember. But if that's kind of your vibe, this might be fun for you. But if you love green like me, you'd probably want to stick with a full green palette like the Just My Look palette, which is also $12 from ColourPop. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun putting this together. I really like this look. I like this lip color from Menagerie. So fun. And... I like my little $15 Gucci earring dupe. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know if you like this kind of video in the comments. I see a lot of makeup on sale and sometimes I take a little gander because your girl loves a good deal. I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye guys.